News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And welcome to the weekly update for the 12th of February through the 18th. So from Monday until today, I'm going to go over everything that I've done this week. Uh, so it's been a pretty busy week for me. As you can see, uh, there are five different topics that I'm going to go over. Uh, the first one is the nonprofit organization template. Uh, so this is a great template if you have a nonprofit um, and you want to showcase your work, uh, create events and accept donations. Uh, it's a really great template for that. And I'm going to go over that in this video. Um, I've also updated the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. Uh, there's just been a few performance improvements and cro cross browser uh, improvements as well. Um, I I've updated the scroll show widget uh, as well. Uh, there's performance improvements and cross browser updates to that as well. Um, the responsive full screen video update also has performance improvements. And I also did a quick tip this week on pigment.shapefactory.co and I'll leave a link in the show more section below uh, to that quick tip. It's a really useful website uh, to select colors and create duotone images. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I'll go over is the nonprofit organization template. So here I'll open up Google Chrome. I'll go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year uh, the templates are included as well uh, so all the templates and widgets i'll be covering in this weekly update uh, are included within the subscription all right so i'll go ahead and go to the nonprofit organization template uh, so here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates i come out with for 39 a year uh, here are the features included. I'll read this in a second, but I'll go ahead and click on the preview page so we can take a look at the template. Uh, so here we are on the home page. We have a nice header, uh, some nice content here, um, upcoming events. So the first section, our vision, mission, and principles. The second section, upcoming events. We have the smooth text reveal hover box here. Uh, and if you click, it links out to eventbrite.com. So you can set up events and have uh, have users kind of book or RSVP to an event uh, that you, you might be having. Um, there we go. And then we have a nice footer. So we're using the slanted panels widget as well to create this nice slanted panels effect. Uh, and this template is fully responsive to work across desktop, tablet, and mobile. So as you resize, we can see the site changes and it looks really nice on mobile. All right, so there's the home page, And then we have the next page. So we have the uh, Who We Are page, and it just has a few different sections. So Who We Are, uh, Board of Directors, uh, Executive Advisory Board, uh, Childhood Literacy Board. Uh, and this kind of pertains to this particular template, but all this content is customizable. Uh, you can change the headings, the text, everything is really customizable. And you can link out uh, different documents to different PDFs or pages. Uh, and it's just to give you like a reference of what you of what you can add uh, to the page. And here we have a nice um, scrolling uh, section where you can click here on the side and it scrolls to the different sections of the page. All right, so that's the who we are page kind of lets you, uh, you know, tell users about your organization and different sections or um, yeah, different parts of your organization. And then we have the our work page. Uh, so we have a few different sections as well. We have our approach, literacy programs, our libraries list, and success stories. So again, this is all customizable. It just pertains to this particular topic. Um, and we are using a few widgets on this page as well. Uh, here we're using the light box to uh, link out to a video. So you can uh, link out to a YouTube or Vimeo video and have the user watch the video right on your page. Uh, so it's a really cool function there. Uh, let's use our kind of or lets the user receive more information through a video. Uh, so looks good there. And again, we're using the slanted panels widget to create this nice slanted panels effect here. Um, and it's fully responsive. Again, this is what it looks like on mobile. And perfect. All right. And then we have the take action page. So here we have the donations page. Uh, here we can see it says direct giving. Uh, you can select an amount. Uh, and we're using the PayPal animated buy buttons 
to have this nice animation when the user hovers over the different donation buttons. Uh, and this links out directly to PayPal. So if I click, um, it takes me directly to PayPal. We have this nice donate button here and it has the, uh, you could customize this to match your uh, organization and the user can donate there with PayPal. Yeah, with PayPal or debit or credit card. All right, so that's the donation page. Um, it's really useful if you do want to accept donations. Uh, you can book donation. Um, here we have, this links out to a PDF. So this section here says compre comprehensive guidelines for book donations, uh, frequently asked questions. And here we have a nice, um, a nice list and they can go through the different questions there. Okay, and here on the left again, we have the nice uh, scrolling so they can scroll to the different sections and looks good. All right, so I'll just go to the home page really quick and I'll open Sizi uh, just to showcase the site across different width devices. And I'll just do the home page to save a little bit of time in this tutorial. I will leave links to this template in the show more section below. Um, so you can take a look yourself and look at the different pages. So this is Sizi. I've gone over this site a few times. It gives you a nice re representation of what your website will look like across different width devices. So iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Air, Nexus 6P, Galaxy S4, Nexus 7, and yeah, okay. So yeah, Nexus 7 was the last one there. Um, so yeah, you can just go through and see how the site looks across different breakpoints. Nice. All right. This is an iPad Air, looks good and perfect. All right, so so I won't spend too much time going through all the different width devices, uh, but it's just a really useful website to to check the site across different different width devices. All right, and you can go to the different pages for that device and look at the site on those pages and check out the site there. All right, looks good. So I'll go back to the template page. I'll go back to shop and I'll just read a few of the features included. So the template is fluid with design. It's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Uh, there's a maximum of five breakpoints per page. It links out to Eventbrite for event planning. It, it includes a section for accepting donations via PayPal. Uh, the pages are organized within the layers panel. There are four main pages, home, who we are, our work, and take action. There's one master page. It's fully customizable, the assets are included, and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. And then for the widgets used in the template, we have the slanted panels widget, the panel reveal hover box widget, the light box widget, and the PayPal animated buy buttons widget. All right, so that's the template there. Uh, here is the community section if you had any questions about the template. Here are a few images of the template and it looks good. So I will be making a, another tutorial kind of going over the, temp the template in depth and how it looks like in Adobe Muse. But for now, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the template um, here at museforyoushop.com. All right, so that is the nonprofit organization template. Um, I will leave a link in the show more section below. Okay, so the next update I'll go over is the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. So here I'll click on widgets and I'll scroll down to the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget which is right here. And I'll just click on it and I'll read the change log. Um, so it's now simple and sweet on scroll animations widget 1.3. And here is the change log. Uh, so the issue with the animations not triggering across different breakpoints has been fixed. Uh, so at times when you when you add different breakpoints, uh, on certain breakpoints, the animation wouldn't trigger. Uh, so that has been fixed. So the issue with the flip effects showing the element before animating in Safari has been fixed. Uh, so there would be this thing where if you selected a flip effect, the element would show a, a little bit before animating uh, in Safari. Um, the issue with animations not working correctly in Internet Explorer has been fixed. The widget now uses CDN technology to help your website load faster. Uh, there's performance improvements and there's updated code within the widget. Uh, so here I have a video tutorial on how to use the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. All right, uh, here are a few of the widget options and the community section if you had any questions about the widget. Okay, so the next update is the scroll show update. So here I'll go to the scroll show widget right here and I'll read the change log as well. So it's now scroll show widget 1.1. Uh, there's a new wi widget set up. So the add first widget must now be added to the top of the page before beginning. Uh, there's a staggered delay option that has been added to reveal elements in a sequence so you can have elements uh, reveal one after another once all those elements are scrolled to. 
Uh, the issue with elements not appearing when more than one scroll show widget was added has been fixed. Uh, the issue with animations not working in Internet Explorer has been fixed. There's performance improvements uh, within the widget, and there's updated code within the widget as well. Uh, here are a few of the widget options and the change in the community section as well if you had any questions about the widget. Uh, so the next update is the uh, responsive full screen video widget. So I'll just scroll uh, to that really quick. Uh, it's right here, the full screen, uh, responsive full screen video widget. And I'll just go over the change log. So there was a few updates to this. Um, it's responsive full screen video widget 1.3. Um, so there's now the ability to play the video in line on tablet and mobile devices. Uh, the issue with full screen video not filling the entire browser in Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer has been fixed. Uh, the issue with elements not scrolling when video is fixed in the browser has been fixed. And I've also added the external URL widget to allow for the video to be hosted on another server. Uh, so if the video was yeah, hosted on another server, you could just enter in the URL and you could play the video from that URL. All right, so th those are the updates there. And the last thing I'll go over is the pigment.shapefactory.co. Um, yeah, so pigment.shapefactory.co. Um, and it's just a really great website. I do have a quick tip. Um, I created a quick tip this week and I'll leave a link in the show more section below to that. Um, it's just a really great website to create or to access colors, you know, hex colors, RGB and Pantone. Um, and kind of play with different color variations and you can uh, create duotone images as well and it's just a really fun uh, site uh, you can get images from unsplash just type in an image and you know i'll type in chocolate and it'll bring up all chocolate images with that specific du duotone color applied or those uh, two colors applied to the image all right so it's a really fun site um, i did create a quick tip and I'll leave that in the show more section below. Okay, so that's it for this weekly update. Um, I didn't showcase the widgets uh, too much in depth just because I didn't want to make this a really long video. I just wanted to go over the different updates for this week. The widgets do have more in-depth tutorials. Uh, if you go to the widget page, uh, right above the community section, there's a vi video for each widget that shows how to use. Yeah, that shows how to use the widget. Um, so I just wanted to go over the performance improvements and updates to each of the widgets. I am actively working on the widgets to make sure they work really well uh, when you're using them in Adobe Muse. Uh, so yeah, I just want to go over those updates. There, there will be links in the show more section below. Uh, so this week, the non I released the nonprofit organization template. Um, I've updated the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. I've updated, updated the scroll show widget. I've updated the responsive full screen video widget. And I went over the pigment.shapefactory.co website. Uh, so that's it for this weekly update. Uh, again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.